Well, hello there. Thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of secrets and Easter eggs in the new South Park Fractured But Whole game. Let's just say I've beaten the game and done pretty much all of the side missions, so I'm pretty much bored now. Hopefully, these secrets and Easter eggs I introduced to you once again will be something new to you. Maybe you end up passing these up or missing them going through, or hey, maybe you're just a casual player and you still haven't beaten the game quite yet and you just want to know the secrets and Easter eggs. I might make a part two to this, just depends on how well the support does on this video. Let's get into this though. Before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know I am doing a giveaway currently of a brand new console that will be ending before December. The winner will get to choose from a Nintendo Switch an Xbox One or a PS4, but of course the winner can only choose one. It'll basically be like an early Christmas present or whatever you celebrate. And by the way, these people that you're seeing currently unbox consoles are my previous giveaway winners. I had asked if they could record themselves when they received it in the mail to show off their reactions and of course so I could show you guys proof that my giveaways are legitimate. And well, as you can see, they did. It's real easy to participate in this if you guys want a chance at winning one of these consoles. All you have to do is simply leave a like on the video to show some support. Subscribe and click that bell if you haven't to stay notified. And lastly, comment your favorite secrets and Easter eggs that I showed in this video. Now then, let's go ahead and get into this. The first one that I want to show you guys will be located at the far right of the map at the area called Hillvale Farm. When you get here, you'll notice that there's a guy blocking your path, but you can make it so he doesn't block your path. All you have to do is set up this bucket that is filled with grapes to block his path so you can make it past him. And by doing that, all you have to do is just simply use your fart technique to stop time for a couple seconds and place the grape bucket right here, and you should be A-OK -okay to get right past him. And then when you get past them, something interesting will happen. I'll go ahead and let this play out for you guys to listen in. Maybe you can't do that on television. Oh, yeah, yeah, remember that? I remember that. Oh, I remember, I loved it. Remember when Canada was like an old school RPG? Sure, I remember that. So anyways, moving on from this, I'm just going to try to keep this short, simple, and straight to the point. The next one I'll be showing you guys will be a secret boss fight that you can do at Freeman's Tacos. I have to say, you definitely want to beat the game and have your characters pretty stacked. I suggest using some healing characters or characters that can protect you when going against Morgan Freeman because he is crazy powerful. Also, not to mention, make sure you have the Moses Summon available to heal all your allies because, once again... Morgan Freeman does some serious damage. And you don't even really get nothing too special from him. I mean, you do get an achievement from beating him, but other than that, nothing really. I mean, as you can see here, this was my rewards for beating him. Anyways, this next reference I have for you guys will be part of the main story. I'm not going to let you guys know what part of the story it is, just for those of you that haven't actually got to this part. But you'll end up getting to a part where Cartman references Legend of Zelda. Check this out. To have a superpower that only works when an air compressor is around. This isn't Legend of Zelda, dude. F you, coon. Anyway, so next up I have for you guys a DLC secret within the game, kind of referencing when we might be seeing a DLC with the South Park Fractured Butthole. I'm not exactly sure what this is exactly, but I think once again it is a hint. You will notice that the bus stop is titled DLC, as you can see up above. And if you talk to this guy here, he'll say something pretty interesting. Check this out. This bus was supposed to be here back in December. 
Now, I believe this is actually a hint that we're going to be seeing a DLC sometime in December. I'm not exactly sure. It could also be people complaining of when a DLC should come out in the game or something. Anyways, these next few Easter eggs I'll be showing you guys will be located in a thrift shop called Sloppy Seconds. When going in here, you will notice a couple that stand out. There is quite a bit more that probably I don't recognize. I'm sure some of you guys will recognize some that I don't. But one that caught my eye is this Ash Ketchum hat, obviously a Pokemon reference. And I believe this right here is referencing April O'Neil's yellow trench coat, a chick from the Ninja Turtles. And right next to it, we have Velma's outfit and Daphne's outfit from Scooby-Doo. Then over here, we obviously got the Fred Flintstone outfit. And then if we go to the far right of the store, we got a Fat Albert reference. And lastly, the iconic Charlie Brown shirt. So yeah, there's quite a bit inside the thrift shop. I'm sure you guys could probably find more in here, but these were a few that caught my eye and stood Anyways, next secret I wanted to show you guys will be located inside Kyle's house. If you guys didn't know, you can light some candles that are around in the South Park Fractured Butthole game. And this one, for example, is a pretty unique one that I wanted to show off. You could throw a firecracker at these candles, which I believe this candle holder is called a menorah. I'm not exactly sure, but when you end up lighting all the candles, something special will happen. Nothing too special or out of the ordinary, just a little secret in the game. Next up will be a little PewDiePie reference located in the Coon and Friends headquarters, aka Cartman's basement. As you can see here, his old logo is on the billboard for the top bad guys. <laughs> so what, that is 13 so far that I have showed in this video. For the 14th one, I have you guys a Stick of Truth reference. Hey, you know the Stick of Truth is just a stupid twig. You take that back. You're just mad because it's true. For those of you that played the Stick of Truth South Park game, you had to collect these things called Chen Pokemons. And you'll notice in this game, they're all in the new kid's garage, also known as our characters, inside and around this box, as you can see here. So it's pretty cool to see these collectibles make full circle around into their new game. So this next one is an extremely sneaky reference of the Mexican Staring Frog of Southern Sri Lanka, which was in one of South Park's episodes. It'll be located right over here on Stark's Pond Path. As you can see, it's in the background. I have to say, this was a very sneaky one once again. Alright, so for these next few, they'll be located in the very beginning of the game. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but check out what happens when you try to skip the introduction cutscene to the game. What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of Oh, you don't want to skip this, dude. This is sweet. Control. Cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey! No, trust me. You want to hear all of this. Who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa! Whoa! We were supposed to protect... Will you stop interrupting, please? Those who couldn't protect themselves. Get, get off my car, you little pack... Now superheroes are torn... Okay, now you're just being a dick rap. Torn apart by political differences. I had to say I was cracking up when I was first hearing that. Anyways, this next one I'll be showing you guys is a Tom Brady cheating Easter egg in the very beginning of the game. What you want to do, instead of looking through Cartman's journal to find out the password, you just want to immediately skip that part and just go and type in his password to get inside the Coon and Friends headquarters. You get some pretty funny dialogue from Cartman when you end up doing this. Check this out. Hey, Tom Brady, you want to play the game or do you just want to be known as a smug cheating bitch the rest of your life? Alright, so we're getting to the end of these secrets and easter eggs that I'm going to go over. This next one is a Pokemon Go reference that can be seen from Call Girls Ultimate, as you can see here. As you guys may know, when Pokemon Go first released, everybody was just stampeding everywhere with their faces and their phones. I believe some even got hit by cars and whatnot. I mean, it was just crazy when it first released. The next one I'll be showing you guys will be located at the Photo Dojo. And in here, if you go to the far wall, you'll notice that there's a bunch of pictures on this wall. And these are actual pictures from real South Park episodes. I thought this was pretty creative that they decided to take real episodes from their series and add it into the game as pictures inside here. For this last Easter egg, it'll be located in the police station. You simply want to go into their break room. 
and in here you will notice in the cold case box you can see this guy and this guy is actually Satan's lover and he goes by Chris pretty sneaky little one that they added in here this guy doesn't actually appear in game but they do have a little reference to him dead going to just take a while to compile together Hopefully something in this video was new to you after all I did show 20 secrets and easter eggs in this game. And let's just say there is a lot more than just 20. But I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to make another one of these videos just because this literally took me... I don't even want to talk about it. Right? It just took me way too long and I feel like it's not even going to be worth it. But I mean, who knows? It might do well. At least I made more of the community aware of what's inside this awesome freaking game. So yeah, if you guys could just take a little bit of your time and leave a like or maybe share this with one of your buddies that also enjoy this game or something, that'd be greatly appreciated. I mean, of course you don't have to, but, you know, like I said, it'll be appreciated. I'm happy though, everybody. Thanks for taking time to watch and listen. And remember to stay safe out there and try to avoid sleeping and pee. It can get pretty nasty. Trust me. Peace.